We call that the limit of sine t divided by t as t goes to zero is always one. It's the same as writing limit of sine alpha divided by alpha as alpha goes to zero equals to one or limit of sine x divided by x as x goes to zero it is equal to one now what if i change this suppose i ask you to find the limit of sine 2t divided by t as t goes to zero if you do the direct substitution you get sine zero divided by zero zero over zero which is indeterminate form not acceptable so what we can do instead we can use substitution we're going to recall 2t and define a new variable like what like alpha 2t is equal to alpha so t can be written as alpha divided by 2 go back to the original limit now you have limit of sine alpha divided by t is alpha over 2 and since t goes to 0 alpha goes to 0 as well t goes to 0 alpha goes to 0 so alpha goes to 0 but this guy can be written as the limit of 2 times sine alpha over alpha as alpha goes to 0 which is just 1 so you have 2 times 1 or 2. In general, if you have a limit of sine 2x or 3x or ax in general, ax divided by x as x goes to 0, it is always equals to 8.